Oke, okay, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, Oke, okay. guys, today you are going to have your comprehension exam. Uh, and then the participant here consists of Lulu Farhan. We have Daisy and Rainy, <coughs> Reski Fauzia, Ian Matia, Rekta Rovika. Okay. And then, uh, before you are going to get your question, uh, now let's start this comprehension exam first by reading or reciting Al-Fatiha for each of you guys. Hopefully, uh, this comprehension exam will give you guys a good result. Three, two, one, and then let's read Al Fatiha. Amin. Alhamdulillah. After reading Al Fatiha, hopefully you guys will have your uh, perspective and then your answer for all the question that I will give to you guys yeah uh, before, before we are going to go to the question uh, because this is the opening for you guys that watch this video hopefully you guys will try to uh, subscribe to this channel and then also give a like and then give a comment if this video help you guys to uh, Continuing here when we try to join the comprehension exam. Okay, and uh, how did we are going to do this comprehension exam? Uh, I'll give you guys one question. Yeah, I'll give you guys one question, and then the next question, each of you, you have to give me your answer. And then all of your answer here should be in different kind of answer. Yeah, I'm not taking the similar kind of answer. Is it clear enough, guys? Yes, clear enough. No similar answer for the question. Okay. okay. Uh, but before we are going to start the question. Do you guys have any uh, question to ask first for this comprehension exam? Come on, it's time for you guys to uh, give me a question before we're going to start. No question? No, 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 no question. No. no question. Okay, hopefully uh, the instruction is clear enough for you guys. And then now, uh let's start with the first question okay remember uh, i'm going to give a, one question and then each of you you have to answer it in different way okay and the first question here I already wrote some question for you guys uh and then my first question uh, if you are going to be a teacher, yeah, if you are going to be a teacher, how that you are going to make your student interesting in joining your lesson? Yeah. So the first question here it is about attracting the student, yeah, to join your guys lesson okay and then uh what about the question here is it clear enough for you guys yeah yes clear. okay don't hear mister okay thank you ian and then now <laughs> we're gonna start with the first who will be the first we'll try to answer this question how are you going to attract your students? So they're gonna love to join your lesson. Who's gonna go first? Come on. Uh, Come on. Okay, me first. Okay. Uh, oh, first Mr. Come on, Reka. 
uh, for interest or attract Malaysian to students. Uh, I think you should be a teacher 4.0 or maybe 5.0 because, you know, it's like uh, to, uh, today is students like uh, Gen Z for boy in generation. So we should uh, follow their gener generation. It's like uh, don't use monotone media, like just use book and book, book and book, and then they only answer the question like uh, maybe reading. Maybe reading. We only reading the text, then answer the question. It's like I think monotone, and they all uh, have. They all can uh, develop their skill, or maybe you can use games, use YouTube, or maybe you can use uh, IG. Uh, you know, uh, IG is so popular right now. Um, all students use uh, IG, so I think maybe for uh, for their talks, uh, they should upload uh, their reading or maybe some talks to the IG. Uh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, that to the IG is like that. Uh, we should follow them. Uh, not like, you know, teachers sometimes uh, think about students should follow the teacher but uh, i think we should follow them also because the gener oh, the teacher generation and the student generation is different i think uh, that's of for, of me from me i think for okay. attack students should okay. be friends mm -hmm. thank you very much for your brief answer reka and then what i got from your answer here is when you're going to be an interesting, attractive teacher, you don't have to use book, 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 and book. Okay? Yeah, Eka. maybe basic, that basic, that basic. Uh, okay, but, uh, thank you, no. that's enough, that's enough, thank you. Thank you, Reka, I got your point. And then next, after Reka, come on, who's gonna be the next to answer this question? Me, sir. Okay, Daisy, come on. Uh, I think if I uh, to be a teacher, I will give the fun method for the student because uh, fun method can can uh, make the student get the lesson uh, early uh, get the uh, the lesson and then make it easy because uh, make it easy for the for them to do the things they want to get like that uh, the med, uh, the method like uh, now is we can we can give the uh, online or anything. Anything else, Daisy? Enough. Okay, thank you. Uh, next, after Daisy. Yes, sir. Okay, Reski, come on. Maybe when I become a teacher, I will provide a variant of interesting media, good media for my students. Uh, maybe I think maybe until until that. Okay, thank you. Next, uh, after rescue, who's gonna be the next? Come on, me, sir. Okay, Lulu. Uh, I think if we are gonna be a teacher, we should use media that relate to their life, and the second, the media should fun, and we try to understand what. Uh, they need in the learning and then uh, the teacher should prepare the competence also for mm -hmm. achieve the competence for uh, materials about the learning that's it that's it okay thank you very much Lulu next now it's your turn Ian please Ian, can you hear me, Ian? Ian, I'm waiting. Ian, come on, Ian. Please give a response to us. 
I have to uh, give the student a good media, uh, okay. a new media in teaching and learning process because mm -hmm. if I have uh, used the interesting media or a new media that make the student interesting when they are when they are in well they are. What is what is it, Ian? That's all, Ian. 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 Okay, thank you very much for the answer, Ian. Uh, and then now we'll go to the next question. Yeah, the next question, Ian. Yes, sir. Okay. Next question. Our next question here, it is related to the first question. If the first question here, you guys already explained in a general way, yeah, in a, a common way, yeah, how that you are going to attract students to enjoy your learning process. And then now, uh, I want you guys to please try to give me here a specific kind of fun, attractive, interesting teaching process. Come on. Sorry, mister. I can't hear your voice. Okay. Let me repeat it. If the previous one, it is about the general or common things that you can do to attract the student to love or to enjoy your teaching process. And then now, I want you guys here try to give a specific, yeah, a specific teaching process that will be a fun, that will be a creative and then will attract the student to love your teaching process so they can enjoy the learning process in classroom is it clear enough guys yeah okay come on who's gonna go first please come on me no, sir okay lulu come on uh, I think if we are in the class while teaching, first <clears throat> first step is uh, we get the heart of children, and the second we try to be their friends so they are enjoy while process uh, teaching and learning, and the second and the third uh, we try to begin our uh, start our lesson. Example about vocab, vocab uh, or color or animals vocab. So uh, the example technique with using uh, YouTube and then we sing a song together. Uh, so uh, like that. Okay. Anything else, Lulu? Mm, no. That's no. it. Thank you very much for your answer. Next one. Who's going to be the next, please? Reka, Mister. Okay, Reka, come on. Uh, in all grade or specific grade, sir? It's up to you. What I mean here, a specific, fun, attractive, interesting teaching process. What are you going to do? Come on. Um, I think uh, we said we know if uh, these students are in junior high school, maybe uh, uh, as my experience, mm -hmm. uh, I use a game because uh, for the media I use games uh, for teach them because they uh, for the first time I will teach them specific uh, basically use a book or else but for the implementation for make they all understand uh, 
they uh, maybe I will implementation the games for maybe for the voc uh, vocab for enrich their vocab and for uh, uh, enrich their writing skill maybe I can use Twitter for reading skill maybe sometime I will uh, show them a video to like watch some movie short movie to to enrich their reading school a uh, reading reading skill uh, I mean but uh, they not feel pressure they they learn but they feel like they are playing because children like to play that's enough for me that's enough Rekha yes okay uh, Lulu, since uh, you already answered the question, would you please try to text uh, Ian? Because it seems like she's not getting the question. Yeah? Try to text her, okay? So she can find the question. Next, after Reka. Reka? Okay, Daisy. Daisy. Come on. Uh, I think uh, we, uh, I can give the student role play. Hmm. Because role play method is a method of uh, mastering learning materials. The uh, uh, student can imagination and appreciation of the student, and the student can acting the can acting uh, as living the figure. And then the role play can play depends on uh, what being play, and then more than one person. And then I think it can make the student fun and can the improve the vocab, voc vocabulary okay. enough <laughs> thank you daisy next after Miss. daisy okay rescue uh, i think first i must attention for their uh, they be happier so after that i must give their a good uh, a good media for our students to attention uh, to attention for our learning uh, and also i think that can give the motivation for our students soon that's all that's all okay thank you very much presky thanks uh ian ian hello Ian, come on. Lulu, have you texted her, Lulu? Yes, sir. I've texted her, but she didn't read it. Okay. Okay. There you go. Yes, sir. Okay, come on. Yes. It's interesting. Why I will use the board game for uh, teaching? Because I think that can make the student easy to understand in teaching and learning process. Anything else, Ian? That's enough? Okay, thank you very much, Ian, for your answer. Uh, that was the second answer. Now let's go to the third question. Yeah. Uh, the first, I asked you guys about the how that you're going to be an attractive teacher. And then the second question here, it is about a specific, fun, attractive, and then interesting teaching process. And then now for the next question, I want you guys here now try to choose from all the skills in learning a language. Yeah, you may choose speaking, listening, reading, writing, or any kind of skill or vocabulary or structure or grammar. And then after that one, how you are going to develop, how you are going to build yeah, a good, attractive, learning material. Is it clear enough or should I repeat it? Repeat it, yeah. sir. Okay. How that you are going to develop 
or build or make or create ya yeah. an interactive fun or interesting learning material how is it clear enough yes okay thank you and then now who's gonna give us the first answer please come on yes sir uh, okay daisy uh, i think i can uh, give the listening okay listening we can uh, give the listen about a song and then the because uh, the student often uh, listen the song and then the student can improve the vocabulary and then can maybe student can make the song too okay so your creative attractive fun and interesting learning material here is using song yes okay. and then you are going to sing a song with you yes student. together yes okay it's more fun okay thank you uh, after this one uh, daisy uh, you're going to give us uh, an example of a song that you're going to <laughs> sing with your student after all of your friends already answer the question okay reka oh, not reka daisy Thank you. Oh my prepare God. It. Prepare it after this one, Daisy. Okay. Next. Just gonna the next. Me, me, sir. Reka, okay. sir. Reka, come on. I will choose reading for develop, okay. uh, for develop reading skill. I mean, uh, I will use K-pop article, sir. K-pop article. K-pop, K-pop. Yes. Okay. Because K-pop article is uh in english uh, and i think this k-pop is popular right now in teenager mm -hmm. who now who does now k-pop i think uh first uh, from k-pop article they will read what they like maybe not all but uh i think 50 person teenager what uh, I have met is like K-pop, like when yesterday I have experience in my research. Mm -hmm. In all classes, uh, population is like Korean pop, and I think uh, K-pop article can reach their vocabulary also and their reading skill because uh, K-pop article is easy to understand and they like that, and they also get the information about. Uh, the other country or not only focus on the Indonesian news I think that's from me. That's all Reka? Yes. Okay so Reka after this one you are going to give us the example of uh, what kind of key pop things that you are going to use. So choose which one yeah. and then how that you are going to use it. Okay Reka? Okay sir. Okay, and then where is Ian, Mister? Hopefully, she gonna rejoin us. Okay, next after Rebecca, Mister. Okay, come on. I think I choose uh, writing, Mister. Okay. So um, after that, I uh, if I give the my students the movie watch the movie okay. uh, because uh, the movie can the uh, students uh, to improve their uh, their vocabulary okay. and, uh, and also only on that okay thank, thank you very much Reski. after this one uh, you have to choose what kind of movie yeah what kind of movie or movies that you are going to use while Developing writing learning material. Okay. Okay, Mister. Okay, thank you. Next, uh, Lulu, Lulu Farhan, right? Come on, Lulu. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I choose speaking. Okay. Uh, and then I motivate and lead the student for speak up, and all of 
student have to speak up one by one. And then example, I have, uh, I give one topic for a speak up in front of, in front of class one by one. So it's, it's uh, to be fair for all students for speak up, sir. That's all? Yes. So Lulu, what is it here? Uh, can you give us the example of doing uh, uh, the things that you explained earlier? Okay. Okay, no, no, but please uh, think about it first. How are you going to give us the example the, to develop describe. the okay. Yeah? Okay. okay. Okay, sir. And then uh, finally, uh, so to relieve your stress, guys, now we're going to have here our famous English department singer will have the beautiful Daisy and Granny. Okay, and then Sir, I can sing. We'll try to develop her learning material using song. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, I cannot sing, please. No, wait a second. What kind of song that you are going to use? And then uh, you have to try to sing it here with us okay come on uh come on daisy Sean Me lagu Sean mendes imagination uh, that's oh. okay that's okay okay let's give her a pause please so she can sing well for us please come on every morning it the same you walk on my house i wanna call it your name oh that's sir. Oh, enough sir that's enough yes Okay, you already pick up the song, and then now how the song that will match or relevant with the learning material that you have? Uh, the student can uh, can the give the the feeling of the the song uh, can improve the the uh, easy the song, sir. Okay. So no. the student they have to feel the song. Yes. Okay. Interesting answer. Okay, and then uh, before that one, Daisy. Now I'm gonna ask Lulu, Reski, Reka, and also Ian. Can you feel the song, Reka, Lulu, Reski, Ian? Hmm? Star, I can I can't get the point, Mister, because I can hear your voice. Lulu voice and all of my friends. Okay. Uh, Daisy, Daisy, maybe you can try to text Ian. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Lulu, Reski, Reka. Yes, what kind of feeling that you guys mm. got from the song by mm. Daisy and Grady? Come on. Little bit. Huh? What is it? Uh, feel um, a little bit. I feel the song. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I uh, have a long time for sing a song, it's more better, I guess. Okay. Thank you. So Daisy, you have to prepare yourself first yes. while singing a song. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you guys agree if we try to ask Daisy and Granny here, we'll try to record a video yeah, while she sing the song and then we're going to upload it, okay? That will be your uh, assignment. Okay, Daisy, is it okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Dan. Uh, after after Lulu, what about Reski Fozia? What kind of yes, feeling that Reski you... Reski first. Yeah, Reski, what, what kind of feeling that you really uh, get from this song? Or nothing at all? Maaf, sir. Potos-potos. Eh, maaf, sir. Okay, do you have... Okay, do you have any feeling after listening to Daisy song? No. Okay, let me repeat it. Do you 
have any understanding from Daisy song? No, sir. No. Thank you very much. That's another kind of answer. Next one, Reka. Uh, uh, I I have feeling, but uh, same as Lulu. Uh, Daisy need to prepare and need long. I think is that too short song from her because i think his uh, her voice is great i think so if she <laughs> can cover all long that song i think it's okay okay thank you very much reka so daisy you have a good voice according <laughs> to reka yeah yeah and then uh, now let's go to the last one ian ian uh, Daisy, have you texted her? Yes. Have you texted her? Okay. Ian? Ian? Yeah, Mister. Okay, come on. Mister. Okay. The signal is bad. I didn't get any points from what we said. Okay. So what can I do? Uh, okay, just keep on with us. Uh, that's all I'm asking. Thank you very much, Ian. Yeah. Okay, after Daisy, now who's gonna go next? Movie. Movie from? Reski. Okay, Reski, come on. Maybe I give the movie, Frozen movie. I'm sorry. Okay, Frozen movie, and then? Only that. Uh, maybe uh my students can get the can write the vocabulary okay so when you come to the class okay guys today we are going to do any teaching and learning process now we are going to watch a frozen movie that way yes maybe yes okay <laughs> thank you very much uh and then now let's try to get what is it is it the proper one reka yes yes it is only yes uh, no 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 uh, <laughs> uh you said i should choose the one article from k-pop article no you don't get my point here uh, what i mean from rescue from rescue yeah. uh, from rescue uh I don't know proper. Why? Yes. Why? It's yeah, not because uh, uh, she she cons and then say only watch. I think uh, maybe you should uh, give the tax or else not only not only watch the movie. I think okay. if or uh, watch the movie. I think in at home we can watch the movie. Thank you very much, Reka. Next. Next. Lulu, Daisy. Same with Reka, because uh, if the movie uh, watch in the class, like take a long time. Sir. Okay, taking a long time. Thank you. Next one, Lulu. I agree, but maybe just the short movie, I guess, and more prepared. That's it. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, from Risky, you have to consider several things. Yeah. Uh, the best way to attract the student to learn or to enjoy the learning process is to ask them doing what they love to do. Okay. When, when you try to ask your student, uh, what is it your hobby? And then they answer, our hobby is watching movie. When you try to provide movies, so that will solve the problem. Because they, what is it? They love to watch movie and then you provide movie. That will be the answer for it. Okay. Next one. Uh, Lulu, right? Lulu, come on. Okay. Because that uh, I choose speaking, then my media more like games that have to shouldn't 
come from in come in front of class. Mm -hmm. So I choose describing things. Example describing the teacher. Things. Okay. Uh, okay. Example the teacher give the topic like example topic of animals. So okay. one of a uh, student have to prepare one animal that uh, should they prepare for describe that. That's it. Uh, that's all? Yes. Okay, all. by the way, what grade or what kind of school that you're going to implement that thing? Uh, really? Grade, senior, uh, junior, high junior high school. Junior high school? And then this? Junior high school, school sir. Okay. Junior yes, sir. high school and then they're still learning about animal? Really? No, uh, it's... Uh, it's the kind of topic, sir. Example, like uh, describe place. Okay, describing place that will be okay. More difficult. But yes. when you try to ask a junior high school student to talk about animal, uh, well, that's okay. Next, come on. Who's gonna give a response to Lulu's answer? Reka, Daisy, or Reski? Come on. Come on. Uh, I think uh, she's method is okay for this uh, for the material in describing material. I agree with her. Okay. That's all, Reka. Thank you. Next, next. Reski. Come on. Reski or Daisy? Come on. Reski or Daisy? Come I on. think the method uh, good because can uh, developing the developing mind the students and then can give the more vocabulary and then can make the student uh, improve their speaking. Okay, that's all? Yes. Thank you, Daisy. Next one from Reski. Yes, sir. I think I agree with, the, with Lulu Farhan, mister. Okay, only agreeing, that's all? That's all. Okay, thank you very much. And then now let's go to the next question. Yeah. Uh, I want you guys try to give one theory related to learning English. One theory related to learning English. Any kind of theory. Come on. Is it clear enough? Hmm? Please repeat, mister. And give I'm, the clue here. Okay, I want you guys here to give me any random theory in learning English, learning English language. Okay, I'm gonna give you a clue. For example, here. Uh, when we try to acquire, when we try to learn a language, yeah, which one comes first? Yeah, the first it is listening or it is speaking. Yeah, that refer to uh, the theory by, for example, Brown or maybe. Richard, or Nunan, or any other expertise. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Okay, thank you. Come on. Um, Who's gonna go first? Theory. <laughs> My God. Come on. Theory about the games, how, sir? That's it's okay. Not the, That's okay. It's okay. Any, yeah, any kind of theory. I got, I got theory for my lecturer and his name, Sofian Hadi. 
Okay. Uh -huh. uh, he tells that games games can play a range of roles in the language curriculum. Mm -hmm. And traditional games have been used in the language class as runs up the beginnings of class. Feels when there is extra time near the end of class or as or occasional of five stress tear into the curriculum. So that's it. Thank you very much, Lulu. Next, please. Next, after Lulu. Yes, sir. Come on. Theory is like theory cognitive, it's okay, sir. That's okay. Any kind of theory but related to English mm. language learning. I think uh, theory cognitive, uh, but I forget about the expert from pigeon. Or I think that's okay. Just answer it. I'm not gonna say okay. that's a wrong answer. That's a right answer. Just answer it. Uh, I think first a week uh, theory. Uh, cognitive after theory cognitive we uh, learn theory constructivism and behaviorism the first cognitive is from our mind our uh, analysis student analysis uh, and opinion that uh, that cognitive then a uh, student jump to theory constructivism uh, mm -hmm. student should discovery discovery and problem problem solving after mm -hmm. that behaviorism students should have habit that is like their attitude their social it's like that i think that's all rekha yes that's all thank you next one rescue um, or daisy rescue come on uh i think i take nunan Okay, Lunan, okay. From its four competencies, speaking is regarded to be an important part of children's overall language development, uh, where children learn English as their native language to spend time developing speaking skills. Okay, that's from Lunan. Yes. Thank you very much, Reski. Next, Daisy. Uh, I got the theory from Thorndike uh, about the behaviorism in education. Mm -hmm. uh, she said that the popular understanding of learning in the first half of the 20th century characterizes mm -hmm. a system of behavior. Behavior responds to physical stimulate by behavior linguistic such. Mm -hmm. no. That's enough? Yes. Okay. And then now last question. Last question for the first session. Yeah. We uh, have two oh sessions. No. Yeah. Oh my god. The first oh my is god. about your comprehension okay, of, of the <laughs> learning material. Start from first semester to the last one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the second session will be about. Muhammadiyah, ke Muhammadiyah, oh my God. Islam, oh my. ke Muhammadiyah. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Last question for the first session. Uh, my question. I want you guys here try to mention one problem in learning process. And then, after you guys already mentioning the problem, what kind of solution that you are going to provide to solve the problem? It is clear enough, guys? Hmm? Okay, uh, let, Mr. okay, let me repeat it. Daisy, it is clear enough? Yes. Okay, Reski? Yes. Okay then, who's gonna go first? Come on. Me, sir. Hmm? Lulu, sir. Hmm? Lulu, sir. Lulu, Me. okay, come on, Lulu. I answer with the example, sir. Can I? Uh, please kindly answer my question okay. with the way that I ask you to okay. do. 
Okay, come on. First with the problem and then alternative solution that you're going to provide. Come on. Okay, the problem that we uh, always find while, while teaching and learning process, example, uh, while speaking learning is the student afraid to speak up, uh, afraid to make mistake and to shy like that. So the teachers give solves problem with uh, it's okay if student make a mistake uh, and then don't judge them. I mean, like it's okay make mistake. Uh, the important that a student try to speak like mm -hmm. that. So, do you really provide a problem and then the solution, Lulu? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Next. Who's going to go next after Lulu, please? Mm, me first. Okay. Me first, me, sir. Okay, Sorry. Reka, come on. Uh, in learning process, uh, not only develop reading or like a uh, comprehensive Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, no. Uh, um, I think in reading aloud, sir. In reading uh, aloud. Yes. Uh, student uh, side to reading aloud me uh, when the teacher asks student to read the text. Student uh, sigh or like uh, I can read well, means because the pronoun my pronunciation is bad. Uh, uh, I uh, often see the problem, and for their maybe uh, for provide or make them develop their reading loud skill. I think we should learn the basic how to uh, read the text and how the alphabet mix into the words. Uh, I think that's. Uh, the solution so they can develop that because we know in our school and our in Indonesia sorry I can hear your voice Reka test okay come on uh, as we know teacher and a uh, teacher give the student uh, doesn't give students uh, how to uh, read the story, the uh, sentences well. Uh, maybe some teacher only give the text and then uh, ask them to read. Uh, we should uh, read their basic reading first, maybe. Okay, that's all? Yeah, yeah that's all. Thank you. Next. Yes, sir. Okay, Daisy. I think the problem uh, uh, student lazy to listening and then uh, the, I think the solution give more uh, ent ent enthusiasm and motivation and then give the fun method like the song just I said and then the, the student can improve the listening. Okay. That's all. Thank you very much. Next one, they uh, rescue, rescue. I think the problems is uh, still lack of confidence. Mm -hmm. So my solution is uh, we must learn more mm -hmm. uh, the language for to improve our speaking. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. Uh, congratulations guys, uh, so far you guys can answer all of the questions, yeah, for the first session, yeah, congratulations, okay. yeah, and then, uh, before we are going to go to the next session, which is uh, Al-Islam dan Kemuhammadiyahan, Mister, your voice. Okay, before we are going to go to the next session, uh, Al-Islam dan Kemuhammadiyahan, hopefully you guys already read about all learning material refers to Al-Islam dan Kemuhammadiyahan. Okay? 
okay and then do you have any question for this second session do you have any question no no sir okay how did we are going to do a second session here it will be the same like the first session yeah i'm going to give you guys one question and then you have to answer it in different way sir your voice sir really uh, sir. lulu can you hear me clearly uh, yes yes so it's your problem i guess daisy because it's really clear for the rest clear, of clear, the clear, clear. okay thank you uh can we start the second session please reski yes inshallah sir inshallah okay my first question hmm. i want you guys uh, try to explain try to give your own thought about Muhammadiyah movement come on about Muhammadiyah movement you can talk about anything refer to Muhammadiyah movement come on mm. Okay, Reka. Anything. Yep. Anything, sir. Anything. Yep. Anything. Uh, I think Muhammadia is uh, great because, as we know, uh, Muhammadia is the biggest, the biggest organization in Indonesia, and movement is make uh, Islam the rightly, the correctly, modern but correctly, and Muhammadia always like give charity or else and um in uh, muhammadiyah give a, like hospital uh, for us uh, i think that's Mo uh, muhammadiyah prophet prophet muhammad uh, to do that and i think it's because um, we should follow the, our prophet muhammad uh, and we should be Islam in the correctly, but still modern. Uh, I like that. Uh, I like that words. <laughs> uh, yeah, for correct the Islam as you know, like maybe in the back then, uh, Islam is not is wrong or we can say. That a stray, stray religion. Okay, uh, I think because Muhammad can. Uh, uh, oh, like, uh, guide us to the right religion, uh, right Muslim or Islam. Okay, thank you, Reka. Next, come on, who's gonna go next? Who's yes, gonna sir. do next? Okay, come on. Uh, I think Muhammadiyah is an Islamic movement preaching Amar Ma'ruf Nahi Munkar and Tajwid and then the, the Muhammadiyah movement is uh, characterized by a spirit of building social order and a more develop and educate society. And then the... And... Enough. <laughs> and then... Thank you. Next, after Daisy, please. Me, sir. Maybe I agree with the with Reka. Reka say. Uh, in Muhammadiyah, we can get much the learn about the religion. 
and also we can um, uh, what again? We can get the sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, we can get the moral leadership from Muhammadiyah. Thanks. Next one, Lulu, please. Hey, sorry, sir. Can you repeat the question? What do you know about Muhammadiyah movement? Oh, okay. That I know about Muhammadiyah movement is teaching our leader by our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the Muhammadiyah care about world sociality and care about the uh, interest in the re religions in and make gener and try to make generation that more better uh, that's all That's all, Lulu? Yes, sir. Okay. Next one. Uh, in Muhammadiyah, we know or we learn one concept that called Tajdid. What does it mean by Tajdid? Tajdid. 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 Mm, come on. New. Explain it, please, Reka. Explain it. What does it mean? Uh, in Indonesia, it's pembaharuan, Mister. Baru in English, new, new, fresh. Uh, I think, as uh, I said before, like uh, back then, uh, the religion is so stray, like susuk, uh, uh, go to the dukun or else and we should uh you should we should do the tajhid to the our religion uh, islam right now uh, uh as i know is pembaharuan in indonesia pembaharuan in uh, in islam okay reka thank you next please yes sir okay yes, come sir. on who, sir? Reski or me? Reski first. Come on. Okay, Reski. Tajdid is interesting as uh, interpretation, practice, and realization of the teaching of Islam uh, while still holding fast to the Quran and Sunnah as Sahibah. Thank you, Reski. Next, come on. After Reski, Lulu. Okay, Tajdid is maintains about teaching Islamic that best uh, source from Al Quran and Sunnah, sir. That's it. Thank I'll you. My connection. Next one, Daisy. Uh, I think Tajdid is which can take the uh, form of a uh, renewal of thought or a. Uh, Business charity movement, and then the the first form is generally, least is and second is usually uh, populist. Bentuk. Okay, thank you very much, guys. And then now, I will give you the next question. The next question, I want you guys to please uh, try to read one chapter or one ayah from Al-Quran that related to Muhammadiyah. Come on. One ayah. Any, any kind of ayah, any kind of chapter, any kind of uh, source from Al-Quran that related to Muhammadiyah. 
only what I add, like uh, if I say you. it's up to you, it's up to you. Come on, I'll my own, sir. Yeah, read it, please. Mm, oh, it's up to you. <laughs> uh, uh, if my voice is so bad, sorry, yes, sir. That's okay. Come on. Uh, I only say to me, Rajim, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I write a lady you can do with the Nofadalika lady at all at him. Well, I could not let a milk miskin for a little musolin. Alazina whom unsolatim sahun, Alazina whom un euro. Now I am na own almaun. Okay, that's enough. Rega. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Next. Me, sir. Next. Okay, Lulu. Al Imran. Okay, come on. Um, 104. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa takum minkum ummatun yad'una ila al-khayri wa ya'muruna bil ma'ruf. Bil ma'ruf wa yanhawna 'anil munkar. Wa ulaika humul muflihun. Thank you. Next, Mister Surah Muhammad. Okay, come on. Ah, uh, Alhamdulillahi mina syaitani rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Afalla ya tadabaru na Qurana amala kul bi kul bi akfaluha. Sadaqallah lazim. Thank you. Next, Mister Al Maida. Audo billahi mina shaytani rajim bismillahirrahmanirrahim wa adallahu alladhina amanu wa amilu shalihati lahum maghfiratun wa ajran azim sadaqallahul azim sadaqallahul azim thank you very much guys we take a break first to wait for the azan first okay It's from Lulu. That's okay. We take a break first, okay? And then please, Lulu, let us know when the Azan is finished, okay? Okay, thank you. You may have a drink or eat any kind of snack that you guys have. That will be okay. Yeah, come on. While waiting for the Azan first, okay? Lulu? Yes, sir. Okay. That's not pretty finished. And then now let's go to the next question. Yeah. 
uh, you guys already read or recite any other kind of uh, chapter ayah from Al Quran, and then now I want you guys here try to give the explanation why it's related to Muhammadiyah. Come on. Come on. Who's gonna go first, please? Come on, Reka. Come on, Reka. I don't, I don't know, I don't have, I, I think I don't memorize all the meanings, sir. But uh, about uh, yeah, about to the other uh or pet uh the or pet children is that right uh, i about the uh, neglect the uh religion and about charity to or pet i'm not or pet or pet I'm not asking you about the meaning. My question, yeah, why ah. uh, it's related to Muhammadia? Can you explain it? Hmm. Thank you. Next, after Reka, please. Ah, sir, can I replay? <laughs> I Come don't get this the question. That's okay. Next, please. Who's gonna go next? Okay, Lulu, come on. Okay, the answer why I chose the surah and why related to Muhammadiyah because the surah relate with the Muhammadiyah principle that invite to good to something good and stay away from something bad. Okay. That's, That's why it's referred to Muhammadiyah. Yes. Thank you very much, Lulu. Next, next, please. Daisy, Reski, okay, come on. Because Allah has promised to those who believe and do good this, and that they will get forgiveness pro, pro and great and great the rewards. I think that's Mister. The meaning or why it's referred to Muhammadia? Why, Mister? Why? Thank you. Next one, uh, Daisy. Uh, from Surah Muhammad that I have read, uh, tell us to pay attention to the Quran and Muhammadiyah also teach uh, us to understand the Quran because uh, the basis of Muhammadiyah uh, is the Al-Quran. No more? No more? No. Okay, Reka, come on, I'm gonna give you a chance to uh, give your answer. Uh, because uh, my own SM as uh, said is principle of Muhammadiyah. It's like uh, al own as principle, surah, principle uh, for the Muhammadiyah, I think. Uh, okay. that I know it's principle. Okay. Anggaran dasar Muhammadiyah. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Reka, Lulu, Daisy, and Reski. And then I have no idea where is Ian. Yeah? Uh, from all of your guys' answer, hopefully that will make you guys pass this comprehension exam. Hopefully, yeah, because I'm going to get your score from all of your answer okay and then now as we used to uh, do this one while well, you guys have a proposal seminar a proposal things yeah now i want i want each of you here now try to yeah, try to uh, convince me 
why did you guys need to pass this comprehension exam? You are deserved to be a pass one. Okay? Okay? And then, yeah, this will be the last thing that I asked you guys to do for your comprehension exam. Who's gonna go first, please? Come on. Come on. Come on. Why no one responding? Come on. Convince me that you guys, okay, sir. Uh, I can answer all of the questions, so you better pass me on for this comprehension exam. That will be okay. Come on. Why did you guys deserve to pass this uh, comprehension exam? Come on. Teacher. Okay, Daisy, come on. Uh, because uh, I have tried to answer the best, uh, based on uh, what I learned during my uh, study at uh, university, and then I deserve to pass the comprehension. <laughs> Thank you very much. Next one. Yes, sir. Okay, Lulu. Uh, some like Daisy because we have to uh, we try to best to answer and we uh, try to best answer from our learning in UMJ University of Komodo Jakarta. Thank you. Next. Okay, Reka. Uh, same as Lulu and Daisy, we deserve to pass because uh, this is the first the first session, and uh, we have tried our best. We answer uh, we answer it uh, well, I think. So we deserve to pass this comprehension test. Okay. Thank you. Last one, Kresky. I mean, like, uh, as Lulu, Daisy, we at Reka, Mister. Okay. So it is the same like the rest of your friends. Uh, we have, uh, we have to get the much learn in OMJ, sir. Okay. University of Malaysia, Jakarta. Thank you very much. And then now, next, I want you guys to give us here a promotion. Yeah. No more questions. Yes, yeah. No more questions. Congratulations, guys. No more questions for me. But the things that you have to do now, you are going to, uh, you are going to make your promotion, a statement uh, for our English department. I'm going to make it full screen for each of you. Yeah. Uh, who's going to go first? Let's try to decide it first. Who's going to go first? Daisy, Daisy first. And then next? Uh, Mister. Uh, Mister. What is it? Reka? Uh, PIP uh, English Department, yes, sir. Akunnya. Yep. Okay. Uh, English Department, PIP UMG. Uh, the first will be Daisy. Next one will be? Maybe. Okay, Reka. Next will be Reski. Reski, and then last one. Last one will be Lulu. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right away after Daisy complete her promotion here, you gotta go next. I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna give you the instruction next. But right away after Daisy complete her promotion, you gotta uh, directly do your promotion okay and then one more time it is in a full screen it will be different like the uh, previous one the question that i already gave you guys nah? and then now uh, i'll try to give you here a full screen on each of you now let's start with uh, daisy first okay uh, wait, wait a second I'm gonna give you okay three, two, one, go Daisy. 
Okay, hello guys. Uh, don't forget to jo uh, join with us in English Department University Muhammadiyah and you can get more information in our Instagram as Safib and then you can check uh, our YouTube in English Department and then you can don't don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Uh, hello guys, uh, don't forget to join us in English Department VIP OMG because uh, VIP OMG is so great so you can get knowledge in uh, English Department because that great English Department uh, and if you want to know about information don't forget to follow our Instagram in SRVIP OMG and don't forget to subscribe and like because subscribe and like is so free so can uh, join us and subscribe and like in our English department keep WMJ in our YouTube don't forget us Hello guys uh, don't forget to join to our channel and don't forget to subscribe comment and like bye Hello guys, don't miss it. So uh, you are will be regret if you are not follow our channel. So subscribe, like, and comment. Mister, your voice. Sir, unmute, sir. Your voice still in mute. Okay. Sir, mode. sorry. Thank you, guys. That was really good kind of promotion. Yeah. Uh, one more time. Uh, thank you for attending this comprehension exam. Yeah. And then uh, I'm going to give you guys the overview. Why here for all they're gonna view, they're gonna watch this video for all English department students. Uh, why did you have to watch this video? Because this video here will give you an example of what kind of the question, what kind of the comprehension exam that you will do when you are going to graduate from our English department PPMD. Yeah. One of the requirements you have to join the comprehension exam. Okay, and then since they are here, the first uh, using virtual kind of comprehension exam, maybe there are many things that uh, it is not a perfect one, but hopefully for next round, for the second group that will uh, join the comprehension exam here they will have a better in uh, answering and then better understanding. And then this video is not only for those that are uh, running their thesis for now, but this video also for all English department students from uh, Muhammadiyah University of Jakarta. You better watch this one so you'll have your own kind of preparation first before joining comprehension exam. And then finally, uh, before we are going to end this comprehension exam, please kindly give the viewers or give the, the one that's gonna watch this video your best smile, guys. Say cheers. I'm gonna take a screenshot first okay. one. Cheers. Come on, smile. Okay, thank you very much. Three, two, one, cheers. Okay. That's enough. And then before we're gonna leave the meeting, we're gonna leave hey, the sir, take, a, take a photo, sir. Yeah, we're gonna uh, wait a second. We okay. gonna uh, one more time. We'll ask you guys to please try to give a command and then give a like and then subscribe to our English department YouTube channel so you can help us build this channel to provide many kind of information as a student of English department. Okay, and uh, what is it, uh, Daisy? We'll have a... Uh... Take a photo. Okay, taking picture together, please. Come on. 
Okay, give you best smile. Cheers. One, okay. two. Two, two, one, one, go. Daisy. Okay, and then. Okay, enough. Okay, that's enough. Thank you very much, you guys. And after this one, I'm gonna uh, upload this video to our YouTube channel. And you have to ask all of your friends, yeah, from ESA 2016, right? To watch a complete video from this uh, comprehensive exam. Okay? And then hopefully I can upload it soon and then I can share the link to you guys. Yeah? One more time, thank you, Lulu Farhan, Daisy and Granny. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, Mr. Karofika, Reski Fauzia. Yeah. Thank and you. I have no idea what we are going to do with Ian, yeah, because Ian already <laughs> left, and then maybe she can contact me in person. Okay. Uh, and then before we are going to end this session, let's uh, read Hamdallah together. Alhamdulillah, ya Rabbil Alamin. Family, you guys really made it uh, to join comprehensive exam. And uh, stay safe, stay healthy. And last one, also, please be an awesome person. And then last, I say, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. 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 Waalaikumsalam.